Animal diseases can be spread easily from farm to farm and across the countryside when livestock and poultry are transported. Dirty trucks and trailers might carry pathogens down the road, onto other farms or ranches, and into facilities. Follow these guidelines if you own, manage, or work at an operation other vehicles will visit. Designate one secure entry point for empty trucks coming in. Post a sign that provides a phone number to call or gain admittance, then either admit only vehicles you trust won't contaminate your operation or that you can examine before they enter. Inspect the truck and trailer before it enters your premises. If there's mud or manure, ask the driver to leave to clean the equipment thoroughly or provide cleaning facilities outside your premises. Keep a log of when haulers enter and leave, contact information, and what condition their equipment is in when they arrive and depart. Show haulers what route to take on your operation and where to load. Before animals are loaded for transport, examine the required paperwork. A certificate of veterinary inspection, which is commonly called a CVI or health certificate, may be required or may be optional if the animals are going directly to slaughter. This certificate is required if livestock are transported across state lines. The rules vary between states, so contact your state animal health official, state veterinarian, or local vet to clarify requirements. A certificate of brand inspection may be required to confirm that cattle have brands on them for proof of ownership. A bill of lading describes what's on the truck, typically the number of animals in each class. A bill of sale confirms a change of ownership, like a receipt. Make sure truckers have clean footwear and coveralls when loading and any time around animals. Before animals are loaded, make sure cleanouts are closed on trailers. This will keep manure from being released during the trip. Confirm that the transporter has clean and not reused bedding on the truck. Examine animals as they're being loaded. Don't load sick or injured animals. Instead, sort them out for examination and possible treatment. When done loading, double-check the paperwork to confirm the number of each class of animal loaded and make sure all gates are closed. Log when the truck left your premises and any other information that should be recorded. If new animals are being brought to your farm or ranch, set up your unloading equipment and pens before they arrive. Have the area clean and ready to receive the new animals. Prepare a quarantine area in case it's needed. Before animals are unloaded from transport, examine the required paperwork. These may include a certificate of veterinary inspection, certificate of brand inspection, bill of lading, bill of sale. Before or while animals are unloaded, verify and document numbers and classes of animals. For example, the number of cows, gilts or ewes, and possibly each animal's identification, such as ear tag or ear notch. When animals arrive, don't just unload them and mingle them with existing animals. Evaluate them for signs of sickness, disease, or injury. If an animal looks sick, separate it from the others as soon as possible. The new animals could show illness at or shortly after arrival and infect on-premises animals with a contagious disease. Keep the new animals quarantined as recommended by your veterinarian. Provide fresh water and feed for the new animals. Carry out your animal health protocols for examinations and vaccinations after the new arrivals have had time to settle down. If possible, after unloading, have the transporter move the transportation equipment to a cleaning area where it can be hosed down to remove manure before it goes back on the road or to another farm or ranch. If not possible, encourage the transporter to complete a thorough cleanout as soon as possible. So whether new animals are arriving at your operation or being transported off your premises. These procedures will help you keep the animals healthy.